Welcome aboard, fellow enthusiasts, as we embark on another incredible video. Hello, fellow enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of 1934 New Orleans mayoral election. The New Orleans mayoral election of 1934 was held on January 23, 1934. It resulted in the re-election of T. Sems Walmsley as mayor of New Orleans. As we embark on the next leg of our journey, let's unpack the layers of candidates and examine its core elements. The incumbent mayor, T. Sems Walmsley, was backed by the regular Democratic organization, a powerful political machine which had dominated the city for decades, as well as by the wealthy residents of the city's uptown neighborhood. Francis Williams, a longtime enemy of Senator Huey Long, was backed by an independent political organization led by himself and his brother. Long, looking to break the hold of the old regulars over New Orleans, searched for his own candidate, but potential nominees Paul H. Maloney and Joe O'Hara were reluctant to face the old regulars. Long eventually convinced John Turra, Sr a respected engineer and father of the editor of Long's American Progress newspaper, to head the Long ticket. As we venture forward, let's take a closer look at campaign and its impact on our understanding. The campaign was a vigorous one, with a level of vitriol and excitement uncommon even by New Orleans standards. Walsley emphasized his close ties with popular President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and portrayed the campaign as a referendum on Huey Long. Kra, a quiet unassuming man, kept a low profile while Huey Long did most of the public speaking for the Kra campaign. Huey gave daily radio broadcasts interspersing tirades against the mayor he called Turkey Head Walmsley with amusing songs. Both Williams and Long accused the old regulars of tolerating vice and embezzling municipal funds. Walsley responded to Huey's insults by threatening to choke those words down his cowardly throat next time we meet. In the final days of the campaign, Long supporters were caught removing names of old regular supporters from the voter rolls, so the registration books were seized by the civil sheriff and placed in the Orleans Parish Prison for safekeeping. Long's ally Governor Oscar Kelvin Allen ordered the Louisiana National Guard to mobilize for New Orleans to defend the registrar's office, while Walsley threatened to deputize 10,000 special police. With potential armed clashes between the National Guard and Wormsley's police looming, a last-minute agreement to submit to an arbitration committee averted a crisis. In the following segment, we'll be examining results in greater detail. Wormsley won re-election with 47,753 votes 44%, followed by Turrell with 32,066 30% and Williams with 28,085 26%. Wormsley and Turrell faced a runoff election, but with Williams adamantly refusing to endorse a long candidate, Turrell withdrew from the race. The results were seen across the state and nation as a defeat for long. I hope you learned something new today. Let me know what you found most interesting in the comments below.